Hey, this is The Real Tom Rose, and we're solving a maximization problem. And here's a quick little hint when dealing with this problem. They give you a bunch of information that's it's not extraneous, but it turns out not to be important. For example, all we care about is the maximum possible value of the pizzas in oven C at any given point in time. And we can pick what type of pizzas we want to put in there. So all we really need to worry about is the most expensive type of pizza, which means we're not going to do regular and we're not going to do thin crust. So all we really need to worry about is the thick crust. We also don't care about oven A or oven B, and all we really need to worry about is oven C. Now the game here is to figure out which combination of pizzas is going to maximize the value. And so we want to do as high a number as possible. Now if we go with all small pizzas, we can fit six pizzas in there. And that will have a price of 10.25. And the total will then be 6 times 1025, which is 61.5. Now I'm plugging these in a calculator. And my general rule is anytime I have to multiply a decimal, I put that in my calculator when I'm doing the SAT. Um, the other alternative is if we go all the way to large, we would have two pizzas at a price of 1550 each which is $31 now this is an easy one to tell once you've multiplied it out the answer is going to be six small pizzas and the answer which you'll enter is six one point five 